Hey, what's up guys, Mendel here. How are you all doing? Doing pretty good? Cool, okay. So one thing that... Cheap lead strips equals cheap glue. Anyway, let's talk about computer gear from a composer slash mixing engineer perspective. So one thing that frustrates me a lot is a lack of speed or when things go slow. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on getting rid of all my external HD drives and replacing them with one amazing thing. And that's the OWC or Oak Excelsior 4M2, this thing. This thing has made me very, very happy. I will dig into this thing in a bit, but let me tell you a short story first. Just there we go. And if you're a computer geek like me or a PC geek like me, you know all this stuff. But for some of you, like even online people ask me questions about this. So here we go. So first I had like hard drive, like a physical drive and thingy. And they were cool and they're pretty cheap for a lot of storage, but they were very slow, like around 20 megabytes per second, like in real time or like real life usage. And then like around 10 years ago, the SSD came to the market, which was, especially for me, for a composer and a mixing engineer, uh, godsend. They were way faster, uh, power usage was way lower, but to the contrary, they were quite more expensive compared to the HDDs when it comes to amount of space, like terabytes and gigabytes. But since I'm an audio engineer, I need a lot of space, but also high speeds. I work with large files, large WAV files. I have big sample libraries, which I use for composition. So all the hard drives aren't really working for me anymore. But I still had like three old, like external hard drives because I didn't have any more room in my PC, but they were really, really slow which resulted into my projects loading very slow. Um, I do have some SSD drives, but like um, those like one or two terabytes and I've been mixing for over 10 years now. So there's a lot of backed up data that I still need to have on hard drives. So after SSD, the M.2 slash NVMe PCIe solution came. But basically M.2 is like a new connector and like a new technology and it's way faster than SSD even. Where SSD is like around 550 megabytes per second, depends on which one you buy. NVMe can go up to 3000 or even 6000 megabytes per second, which is the perfect solution for any composer out there or any mixing engineer out there or people who work with video editing. So this is where the Excelsior comes in. So on most modern motherboards, you have like an M.2 connector. But on my motherboard, I have two M.2 connectors, but if I use um, like the top one, the SATA connector can be used anymore. And I use that for my CD drive in my computer. So the cool thing about this, this has four M.2 drives in it, but connects by PCIe, which is again, insanely fast.
So after flawless installation, I thought it would be cool to do a side-by-side -side comparison by backing up a project. So on the left, we have my old external HDD drive, and on the right, we have the Excelsior. And within basically one second, the Excelsior finished backing up the whole project, which was about 1.2 gigs. Whereas the external HDD took about 19 seconds and much slower than expected. Also, I thought it would be cool to compare them by opening the same project just for a comparison. And this surprised me the most. Whereas the Excelsior was done in about 38 seconds, the HDD drive seemed to be done in about 44 seconds, but was still loading the waveforms in the project. I waited for over five minutes and just called it a day, it still hadn't finished. So I really hope there was some helpful information for you in there. As you probably know, I also make video content from the Cubase channel, the DIW I use for mixing and mastering. And I talk a lot about workflow and speed. And as you can probably tell, the Excelsior boosted my workflow immensely. It shortened my loading times for my templates by a huge amount. Video editing for me is way faster. Backing up my projects, as you have seen, is way faster. And before I forget it, like sometimes it could be only 10 seconds a difference or even perhaps a couple of minutes. But when you work like through a year, that can add up to days easily because you close open projects constantly backing up saving anyway you get you get the point i put some links in the description box so you can check them out and uh, see you next time and stay safe